I created the Money for Foundation. Yay! <laughs> and Gary was talking about doing the Money Workbook today. It's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're doing it, girl. All of you. Y'all, he's been talking about the Money Workbook throughout the entire foundation. That if you keep reading it and if you keep choosing it, your life will continue to change and expand. And this is total just acknowledgement of that for all of you for choosing and for showing up. So I'm sorry, I interrupted you. Go ahead, Cynthia. Um, no, I'm not going to diminish it. So at Christmas, I wanted to send my son money. There was no money. And then suddenly there was money so I could send him money. And I was like, oh. and then it came right back in. My husband just had a birthday this week. It's like, what would he actually like? I'm like money. And I was like, uh, and then somebody paid me, like overpaid me for a lesson because they're paying in advance. It's like, I got the money. So I just gave it to him. Full price offer came in last night. Two more offers coming in today. And then the real estate agent will guide me through which financing is in my best advantage. My brother's going to pay me back for all of the work that was done. Even though I had to front the money, I didn't vomit while I was draining my accounts to zero. <laughs> and my head was blowing up. I, I, I hung in there. Patty helped me tremendously get through that. I'm just friggin' happy every day for no reason. <laughs> and are you receiving more money? Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like three times more than when I started, so. Yay! <laughs> There's come a new client who uh, I contacted after I was, when I was ill, and she comes now and get bars. And uh, then the other day, Naomi wrote to me, and uh, we have uh, plans. <laughs> Me and Naomi, we are going to do a, a call together or a class. Yeah! Things are just coming to me. I'm so grateful for that. It's like just receiving. And can I just also acknowledge, because Lars, when, when Lars and I first started working together, um, his one of his things was that he lived too much out in the country. And no one was going to want to come all the way to the country. Right, <laughs> Lars? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But the space created from reading the book over and over again allows you to entertain these concepts and apply them in the space you are right now. Totally. And, and so it's, it, it's not that I never saw it before. I couldn't even introduce a new behavior or a new thought pattern because I was all rigid in this is where I'm going and this is how I'm doing it. So mm -hmm. even if you've heard the words before, they seem to have this capacity to hammer away at whatever our stuckness is and go, would you try something different? Love that. It's like a little, a little ice pick on, on your solidity, not you personally, Jean, but just all of us, a little mm -hmm. ice pick sure. on everything that we've made solid around money and finances and being and receiving and contribution. It's just like dee, 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 every week, every week. And then at some point it goes <laughs> and you're like, oh my God, everything's changed. I didn't even notice. <laughs> right. And it's not just about money. It's about how do you live your life? How do you live your life? How do you engage with other people? And how do you move gracefully through what has previously been um, something awkward and painful and would have resulted in contention and oh I'm not going to talk to that person anymore it's like what if you took the lead and you could orchestrate a more effective way of being in the world just by reading the money workbook